So protecting yourself is important. How about number seven? Well, number seven, the number seventh reason that we feel financially is lack of desire as a consequence of a poor attitude to developing wealth. It's lack of desire as a consequence of a poor attitude to developing wealth. You see, bad... Explain that one. Well, <laughs> well bad mental attitude, Shane. A bad mental attitude has caused more personal troubles than anything else. You know, I, I recently had on my uh, on my Facebook page a quote. It, it said, uh, "It said, uh, what is the difference between an obstacle and an opportunity?" And the answer is your attitude towards it. You know, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure with the right attitude, you can find any opportunity and any obstacle. It's just your attitude and how you look at it. But everybody wants to be rich. I mean, come on, who doesn't want to be rich? Well, I, you 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 desire to be rich, but your attitude towards developing wealth is not. You des, you may desire to be rich, but when when something when an opportunity comes your way and you don't recognize that opportunity and you don't act on that opportunity, then then what's the use? And also, um, your attitude towards uh, when when things go bad in your life as well. For instance, like these economical times now, you know, things may be rough, but when you really think about it, if you sit down and think about it, you'll find opportunities in your obstacles. You'll find ways to get out of the rut that you're in. Yeah, yeah, so I, I see where you're at. I mean, wanting to be rich and desiring to be rich are two completely different things. Exactly, exactly. You see, what we think and expect to come about usually does. It starts with the mind. Successful people are optimists, while unsuccessful people are pessimistic. They have a pessimistic uh, mental attitude. If you continually think about getting out of debt, you, you're you probably going to stay there. You know, that's why I say focus on wealth building. That vibration, the vibration of the word wealth is greater than, than the word debt. Block out those negative thinking and, and, and condition the thoughts and mingle with the other successful and positive people who are on that wealth vibration level. In other words, like the old saying go, you know, uh, watch watch the people who you hang around. If you if you hang around a bunch of debt ridden people, then most likely you're going to be in debt yourself. I, it's true. I, I can see that firsthand in people I know in my own life and myself. So wise words, definitely. And your mindset plays a big part in all of these reasons, it looks like. Thank you.